This is Nazira. Nazira's just started working for herself, designing and selling t-shirts. She prints the t-shirts herself and then sells them through her online shop and at local markets in any town. But business is a bit slow, so Nazira reckons it's time to improve what she's offering to her customers. Nazira makes it her mission to sell the widest range of designs at the cheapest prices and to deliver her t-shirts faster than anyone else. That's bound to boost sales. Unfortunately, Nazira's mission proves to be an impossible one. She finds there's no way she can be the cheapest, the quickest, and have the widest range. So what do you think Nazira should have done? Nazira makes it her mission to sell the cheapest t-shirts in any town. It works, and sales pick up very nicely indeed. That is, until a much bigger rival company, Dirt Cheap Tees, drop their prices even lower. So low that Nazira just can't compete, and she ends up going out of business. Nazira thinks she'd sell more if she sold more than just t-shirts. So she diversifies and buys a large stock of new gear to print her designs onto. Sadly, things don't quite go to plan. It turns out that no one's interested in buying any of her new printed scarves and tea towels. And now she's even worse off, with a load of stock she can't get rid of. Nazira reckons she needs to find out what her customers and potential customers are looking for. After doing some research, she realizes that all the t-shirts sold locally are cheap and low quality, but lots of people wish their shirts would simply last longer. Nazira's found out how she can be different and better than her competition, so she finds a higher quality supplier and rebrands her business as Any Town's Top Quality Tees. Sales are on the up. Nazira finds herself doing so well that she even manages to set some money aside that she can put back into her business. She decides it's time to expand beyond just selling online and at markets. So she rents a shop in any town high street to attract more customers. Nazira is very proud of her new shop and her t-shirt look great in the shop window. But she soon realizes opening a shop was a bit too much too soon. Her customer base is still pretty small, so her extra rent and bills means she's now making a loss. So what do you think Nazira should have done to get more customers? Nazira hires someone to build her a new website. And when it's finished, the website looks amazing but it doesn't do anything to help her find new customers. In fact, sales start to go down. The new site may look good, but the search facility was better on her old one. Now her customers are struggling to find t-shirts they want to buy. Nazira's already heard of lovely PR, so she hires them to promote her t-shirts. After taking lots of photos, the lovely team get to work, sending out hundreds of press releases. Nazira's pretty excited when her business gets mentioned in Near Town Chronicle. The week after, she even sells three t-shirts to customers from Near Town. But then she gets a bill from lovely PR. Now Nazira just feels sick. Nazira creates pages for her business on a couple of social networking sites, linking through to her online shop. She then shares her new fan pages with some of her old customers. Lots of recommendations later, and things have really picked up. Without spending any money, her own website's getting loads more visitors, and she's selling loads more t-shirts too. Nazira's the busiest she's ever been, at least for a while, but her sales peak and then start dropping again. It turns out she's been concentrating so much on finding the best quality t-shirts 
that other parts of her business have started to suffer. In fact, she's really neglected her customer service, and now her customers are being better served elsewhere. So how do you think Nazira should have handled her customer service? Nazira focuses all her attention on making sure her most regular customers are happy. It works. Her most regular customers couldn't be happier. However, they don't actually spend very much. And Nazira's highest spending customers are now feeling neglected. They're off to buy their t-shirts somewhere else. This is very bad news indeed. The high spenders might not buy their t-shirts as often, but they were actually spending heaps more money. Nazira's biggest customer is UK cinemas. The t-shirts that all UK cinemas staff wear were designed by Nazira too. So the chain buys hundreds of them from her every year. This accounts for so much of Nazira's profit that she puts all her effort into keeping UK cinemas happy. This approach seems to be paying off even if she is neglecting all her other customers. That is, until UK cinemas go bust. And now Nazira hasn't got any customers at all. Rather than single out customers for special treatment, Nazira decides she needs to make sure all her customers are treated well. She's determined to offer a better service than any of her competitors. So that's what she does. It's slow at first, but as word gets round, any town top quality tees gets a reputation for being the place to buy t-shirts. With her brand's reputation going from strength to strength, Nazira finds she's even able to put her prices up. After all, she is selling the finest quality t-shirts in the area. That is, until her supplier sells her a batch that's really bad quality. Nazira doesn't realize, but her customers certainly do. They even start posting complaints on her fan pages. Thinking it'll blow over, Nazira ignores the comments. But it doesn't blow over, and Nazira's reputation is in tatters. So how do you think Nazira should have reacted to online comments? Nazira deletes the offending messages. It keeps her busy for a few days, but she manages to keep on top of it. She's feeling quite pleased about having got away with it. But then her now ex customers start creating their own anti-fan pages. With her reputation in tatters, Nazira's business is ruined. Thinking fast, Nazira posts a response to the criticism. She denies it's the quality of her t-shirts at fault, blaming top clean washing powder. Unfortunately, no one believes her. And then Top Clean take Nazira to the cleaners, suing her for libel. Nazira now has no money and no business. Nazira reacts quickly to the nasty comments. She says she's sorry, explains what happened, and promises to replace each dodgy t-shirt with two top quality ones, just as soon as she's found a new supplier. The complaints stop, and having managed to preserve the reputation she spent so long building, the number of fans Nazira's got keeps on rising. If you want your business to succeed, there might be things you can learn from Nazira. Firstly, find out what it is your customers actually want, and use that to create a strong brand. Then, once you've got a good reputation, protect it and build on it. A good reputation is very hard to build and surprisingly easy to tarnish, but reputation can be rebuilt. And don't forget about customer service. That's the foundation of most successful businesses. <laughs>